Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Reaver. This is a fucked up start to an episode. I'm using a new recording software and I kind of botched it right off the get-go. We're midway through the second floor here, which is not a good way to start, but there's no way for me to like... Like, I can exit and then go back and continue, but I don't want to ruin what is like a fairly early and good run. But also, you know, in the, the streak, but... We're only four items deep. We started as Isaac. There's our seed. We got triple shot. Technology 2. I got Technology 2 first, I want to point out. And, uh, Torn Photo. Let's move along here. I'm, I'd like, sincerely apologetic for it, believe you me. I'm angry about angrier about it than you are. Um, it's because I'm using OBS now. So here's the silver lining. Hopefully, the Crackle no longer exists. It's a known issue with XSplit. Um, that is, uh, hopefully gonna be taken care of, but you might notice this video sounds or looks a little bit different. Uh, I'm interested to hear your feedback for it. I hope that it, uh, sounds better. Just by virtue of not having a Crackle, it should be, like, pretty good, but... You know, I've got nothing against XSplit. It's a program that I've used for years to, to pretty decent effect, and it's helped me out a lot. But uh, at the same time, the crackle issue, especially considering it was a known issue that I've troubleshooted with XSplit, is just like... It, it, I'm not going to say it's unforgivable, but it makes it very difficult to continue using the platform at this point. Anyway, we're on OBS. Hopefully that solves the problem. Uh, if there's truly terrible situations resulting as a result of... Uh, this, I can always switch back, but for now, we're gonna try to roll like this, so I apologize for it, and definitely a weird start. You can see it's not a seeded run. Quite clearly, I have the, you know, the, I don't have the no trophies thing there. And if it was a seeded run, I probably would have avoided taking tech too early on. I also took red hard damage. Actually, I probably would have still taken tech too, but anyway, I took red hard damage on this floor, so we're probably not gonna get a deal with the devil. And then we did, making me look like an idiot, and we'll take the goat head with us here. Alright, this is definitely a different flow than your standard Isaac episode. We also have a lot of money and uh, Broken Magnet, which allowed me to pick up like all that money on this floor. There was a lot of pennies around. I hate that I have to do like this post-mortem, but whatever. Hopefully it'll be the last time that this ever happens. Um, now that I actually understand how to use the recording software effectively. Alright, let's check out our, our shop here. Starter deck on the cheap is pretty extraordinarily good. Especially if we can get a Justice card along with it, it's not bad either. And we'll take Sharp Plug, even though I don't ever use it effectively. It's good to have, and maybe it'll teach me something in the process. I may also sound a little different, because I'm still a little bit under the weather. It's been a... It's been a wild week, man. Like, I, I'm still, at the end of the day, I'm sitting here in my underwear playing video games for the internet. So, don't take this as complaining on an absolute level. But, like, I just got back from my family's home where I had a very nice time and it's not like I was there for work or you know the, a funeral or anything like that but I'm like I'm stressed out I gotta get some work done then you get sick then I find out I got dental surgery on uh, Friday then I got people being like oh the crackle is showing up in every video and that's ridiculous and I agree with you that is ridiculous so I'm like switching to a new recording software and I'm like I just wanna <laughs> I wanna go back I just wanna work man okay this is the most obvious like sentence that I could possibly be saying here but for real Tech 2's damage is pissing me off a little bit did I actually just walk over the spikes? we'll blame that one on the day quill we should be able to stack up, I mean we got a torn photo which should up our damage a little bit, I have no idea how uh, the triple shot is going to affect it but it does lead to us shooting the triple shot from time to time we're gonna need to, hopefully, I mean, Goathead can solve this for us pretty easily, but we're gonna need to pick up, I think, some uh, high damage deals with the devil, because we're on the caves. I was relatively happy with this run. Might be on, uh, no, we're on caves, not even catacombs. But uh, now I'm finding myself in a little bit of a tricky spot here. Uh, for three cents, I will, well, it's really good we're taking out that fire. For three cents, I will blow this up, and pick it up just so that we can do this quickly because you never know if it's a great uh, pickup we'd rather have it sooner rather than later and this is how you can really tell that your damage is not that good look at how slowly we're taking out Mega Ma here mind you we are only on the third floor of the game so I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about it just yet but you know just to illustrate my points we have a run that was not very good we have a run that is definitely more well suited that was substantially worse but I didn't think I'd get hit we just got a run that's more well suited for taking out Little enemies uh, that are all standing in a row, nice and neatly arranged for us to murder. Uh, but unfortunately, this is not the enemy we're facing right now. That's probably the first time I've taken one full heart of damage on Mega Ma in quite some time. But an HP upgrade helps mitigate that somewhat, and the Krampus fights uh, 
I guess I'm hoping for a re-rollable Krampus's head. Lump of coal, I don't think affects technology. It used to, man. I wish I could go back to those days where I didn't know that it helped, but it still helped. Giving you like plus two damage as brimstone, that was awesome. For now, though, we'll just focus on getting this kill and, you know, we'll reroll Lump of Coal, I guess, if it shows up too, so it doesn't really matter what shows up. Sister Maggie, I probably should have sharp plugged the shit out of that, but that's okay. We'll, now that I've known that I've made a mistake, let's keep it fresh in my mind that I have sharp plug and, and we'll move along here, and hopefully we don't face any catastrophic problems on this floor. I think our damage... Oh my god. My speed wasn't good enough to get out of the way. I'll blame my positioning, but also my speed, man. And you know what? I shouldn't have even picked that up because we have the goat head, so we could have easily gone back after getting another reroll and been fine with it, but... Okay. Let's think smarter. The coffee hasn't hit the bloodstream. I'm just full of excuses today. We Let's talk about the positives, man. We are on an 8 streak right now. That's pretty good. You'll have to take my word for it, I guess. But you'll see when the next episode starts, assuming we win this one. We're on an 8 streak right now. That's really, really solid. It's not uh, the best we've ever had. And what annoys me is that if I hadn't killed myself on that stupid freaking Curse of the Blind situation... What do you think? Do you want to try to, like, re-roll the shit out of this? Book of Shadows doesn't do that much for me. We could sharp plug pretty prodigiously. It'll put us in a weird spot, but... We might be able to get the job done here. I don't know how many books are in the rotation. There's a lot. But it only takes one spirit heart with Sharp Plug, right? One and a half. Okay. And then we get one back with Book of Revelations. And we get Book of Sin here. Which gives us a dime. Let me do it again. We got Book of Belial, which is great. Anarchist Cookbook. Now we have to be a little bit cautious because I can't afford to... Uh, Go down to one red heart, especially before this big room, especially in our current situation. But in the future, we might be able to turn this into a double uh, item room pretty easily. We still have a how to jump, I think. Beyond how to jump, I think we have uh, Monster Manuel. We've only done it three times, I think, so we got like a little bit more to go. And we can only use Sharp Plug. When we're... Oh, that old bandage helped out a lot there. We can only use Sharp Plug when we're at, like, zero charge. Which is why I went back there and used it before we finished that room after we got that HP. Because I didn't want to be, like, beholden to not having another charge for a long time. So there's How to Jump and the Bible. If there's another Red Heart on the shop, I'll pick it up and then do it again. Because I think we're getting very close to this library being good for us. It's been, like months since I've actually made a library work for us like this, so I'm actually like really happy that we're gonna be able to possibly have a chance to do this, and the more libraries we get on the run, the better it's gonna be for us, but we might not get any more now that we've taken like literally every book out of the rotation. But at least, hey, give me some credit, I am using Sharp Plug effectively here. We got Satanic Bible, which must be our last uh, option here, and Ares. Ares is not very good, why did I take Ares? Probably because I was just so excited <laughs> that I actually used Sharp Plug effectively. And, uh, we probably won't be able to use Sharp Plug again on this floor, but at least we've taken all the books out of the rotation, I guess. And our HP is not that bad, uh, to show for it. Taking Ares, there is a, a subset of situations where taking Ares was the right choice. If our next reroll would have given us something active but shitty that we wouldn't have taken, and it would have put us lower on HP because of the, uh, the fact that Sharp Plug costs us a decent amount of HP to use each time. There we go. Uh, I don't think we're going to get another charge, so we're just going to be hoping for something decent there. And it's not, but at this point, you know, it's it's another item out of our deal with the Devil Pool. So I got to be thinking, you know, we've taken a lot of shitty items out of our deal with the Devil Pool. Sister Maggie, all of the books. And now Ghost Baby as well. And Goathead, but, you know, the Goathead is not a shitty item. The Goathead is a good item, and I'm very happy to have it. It does suck that I, despite all this HP being here, I don't think there's anything I can do about Sharp Plug. No, it just doesn't work. It's okay, though. Um, I'm still very, very happy with the way that this floor went down, even if I didn't necessarily finish the job there. And it took us a little extra time, but I learned something, and that's important. I'm going to check for the secret room. There could be a battery charge in there. We will never find out. 
And what was the last thing in our shop here? Was it useful at all? Oh, well, there's the Bible again. Bomb and a key. Um, I think we just go down. Good floor, set the foundation for what could be a good run in the future here. All right. Hopefully I don't have to blow my nose or anything like that because I don't know how to mute my microphone in OBS. It might be muted right now. In the meantime, though, we'll try. We might as well shoot the poop whenever it becomes convenient for us, which is probably the MO that I stick with on a regular basis anyway, but it does help me out. The money comes towards me, and it's very easy to do so with uh, Technology 2. But I'm not in love with Tech 2 yet. I love Tech 1. My hope is that we pick up Tech 1, Tech 2, and Tech 1.5. The odds of it happening are like borderline nil, but it can happen from time to time. I will definitely use a bomb here. We can always buy more in the future if we want to. For now. Ah, crawl space. Not, uh, yeah, kick the bomb into like an empty space on the map. Crawl space! It almost worked. <laughs> What do you mean you can't just find a crawl space sitting on the floor? I thought that's what you you blow up the spider webs on the floor and then they take you to the spider's lair and then you get spider butt and uh, spider baby and sister Maggie. I don't really care. Uh, I mean, I care a little bit about losing that spirit heart because it means that sharp plug, if I use it again, will cost me more. But uh, in terms of our actual like improvements on this run, it doesn't really matter because we have goat head. So for our deal with the devil purposes, it's not that necessary. So the way that we handle this, I think, we, we try to buy a Spirit Heart. I would like to get Hive Mind as well. well. We'll talk about that when we leave. But we don't play the Blood Bank for once, because I want this HP to basically serve as fuel for rerolls. Polycephalus is, uh, by all accounts, a really, really easy boss fight. The fact that it is seemingly taking quite a long time to do any meaningful damage whatsoever here is... I wouldn't say disconcerting, but definitely a barometer of the fact that, you know, our run is not looking that good from a damage perspective, but from a utility perspective, we got it going on right now. Where's our other? There he is. Um, we'll only, unless we get an HP upgrade or some spirit hearts from whatever item we get here, we're only going to be able to sharp plug once on our deal with the devil. But let's, you know, not get too far ahead of ourselves. It might not even be a deal with the devil that has items on it. It might just be red chests. But if it does have items on it, we can at least get, like, one awesome reroll out of it. Okay, that was a little too close for comfort, I'll admit. We're done. We got a uh, wooden spoon, which we don't need to pick up yet. This is incredible. If we take it all, though, we'll die. Um... I think you're gonna hate me for this. I think we do Brimstone Dark Bum. And then we leave and we never take damage. Our Brimstone damage is not gonna be that good, but it does synergize well with Triple Shot. And we'll take Hive Mind for the future and we'll uh, blow this up in the hopes of exactly what happened happening. And now we can always go back for Contract from Below. We could also reroll it into a Spirit Heart item if we wanted to. I mean, I do like Contract from Below. It might not be that essential for us here, but it's pretty good. And this looks like we've we've come out with a win now. Our Rate of Fire, thanks to Torn Photo and Toothpick, should be huge. Dark Bum pretty much ensures that we're not going to run into any HP-related issues for hopefully quite some time. Our damage is still going to be pretty poor considering we've got Tech 2, but... Triple Shot mitigates that to some extent. Not a large extent, but some extent. And a Magic Mush pickup would make me feel pretty good. So this is actually, you know, I started this run. I'll admit, you know, I'm, I'm a very easygoing guy, but I started this run in a bad mood, and I was like, oh, should I just, like, end the streak and show it from floor zero? But I was like, ah. I'd rather not. I'd be more comfortable just basically having skipped a floor at the start, and that Relic pickup is just extraordinary. What did I tell you? You know, we left the last floor not looking that amazing. Now we, uh... Have a run that I can I can call uh, I can call a, a good friend. I don't know where I was going with that. Lover's card obviously works well with Dry Baby or Dark Bum. Dark Bum, Dry Baby, it's all the same to me. They're all on payroll, you know. HR takes care of that shit. We are gonna be way too slow for Boss Rush, and that eh, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with our current tarot card. Of course, if it's a Lover's or the Hierophant, I would be stupid not to get it, especially considering there's a chest there as well. But oh well. Anyway, I'm sorry if I started this episode in a bit of a funk, you know? 
I don't, not, not much throws me, but uh, using new recording software and stuff like that, it's not necessarily stressful, but it is, it's a little bit stressful, you know, you're like, I'm, I'm used to this, it's like getting a, a new bicycle or something like that, I knew how to ride the old bicycle, mom, why do I have to get a new bicycle, well, you're too big for your old bicycle, well, I don't, I don't care, I'll get smaller, you know, that's not reasonable, Ryan, this is based on a true story, of course, I'll try this out, please don't make me re-roll my run, alright, thank you. This, please don't make me re-roll my run. Like, it's out of my hands. Sometimes it uh, feels that way. I'm feeling better now. I mean, my throat is a little bit like raw hamburger still, but I'm feeling decent. Let's uh, backtrack up here. And by backtrack, I mean this is almost like a four-track at this point, I guess. Try to get close and your ass will get smacked. My homie Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre have got my back. And it was a lover's card. We have a starter deck anyway. I could hold two cards. I shouldn't be uh, so worried about it. What do you think here? I think that as much as I love Contract from below, we're going to take it. <laughs> we could take Sharp Plug. Uh, or sorry, we could use Sharp Plug, but uh, I think Contract from below giving us more red hearts probably is going to be really nice for us in the future. So it's a bit of a, a standard kind of traditional play, but it works here. Alright, more libraries please. This is a good opportunity if there were items in here, which there are not, and that's okay. No red chests in there, so I'm not that excited about that. 18 minutes, boss rush will not be happening on this run. Oh, rate of fire. My rate of fire fucked me a little bit there. Uh, yeah, you know what? We don't need money anymore. Mom's Pearl emanating purity might actually be better for us. As much as this makes me sound like I am just a total ungrateful asshole, especially as we get our third lover's card in a like place where we can actually use it, um, I really still would like more damage, like the triple shot, Brimstone is good, but because it's a relatively slow rate of fire, it really needs to like instantly kill enemies to be, a, I'm gonna try it out right now, um, it needs to pretty much instantly kill enemies to be amazing. We gotta be careful here, we only have seven spirit hearts. <clears throat> I would like to become Guppy, so I'll take these two. And then we'll re-roll Guppy's head. It becomes the shovel. And the razor blade. Um, but we'll have probably enough opportunities to, to re-roll those again that it should be fine. Emperor, Empress is what we want here. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the Guppy dream is looking pretty solid. We, uh, we got hit there, but Old Bandage paid out with the Red Heart, which means even though we got hit, we didn't really get uh, punished that fully, I guess. I don't really want to go fight the boss right now, because we're going to... Well, we'll get to deal with the devil whenever we want, I guess. Uh, but we're guppy anyway, so let's go fight the boss right now. <laughs> Look! I, I can't... I'm like the guy who always wins in wrestling, but I'm trying to act like a, a, a face, even though I keep winning over... I'd like, okay, I'm trying to get into wrestling, coming some slack here. I'm, I'm a heel, but I keep trying... I want to be a face, but my good luck makes it very difficult for people to relate to me. This is an exceptionally good floor, and like, it's a floor where we got all the guppy items. And I'm taking dumb damage, so people are like, you don't even deserve this shit. You might be right, man. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm a vessel for Isaac to express itself through. And now that hive mind pickup on the last floor really, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Like, I understand, at this point, I should just, uh, at least in, for the rest of this run, I should just embrace my role as being kind of villainous, because... This is just extraordinary luck. I don't know, I guess we would take Guppy's Paw, like use it once, and then Sharp Plug. And then re-roll everything, and pick up Death's Touch. I guess, sure. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Our damage is definitely going to be sorted for us now. Um, there are enemies in this room somewhere. Oh, you got a real problem. That's gonna help out our fly so much. I forgot we have the relic even, so like, oh my god. Okay, that's not a damage upgrade, so that actually doesn't help me out here. I didn't smash my desk in retaliation for that, I promise. Um, don't really want... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind HP. I don't really care about permanent Polaroid invincibility because our damage is, is good enough that it just doesn't matter. I, I shouldn't have popped that Magician card just to clear it out of the queue because it would have been awesome to have Magician card, triple Brimstone, but hopefully we can just, you know, maybe get super lucky. Where's our... It says there's a spirit heart in that room. It must have been dropped at the entrance and we just picked it up. 
Hopefully we can re-roll in a spoon bender at some point and then uh, solve that problem more permanently. For now though, this is probably the slowest brimstone hive mind run I've ever done or even perhaps seen. This is actually a little bit ridiculous, but I guess that's uh, the insidious effect of uh, Tech Point 5, man. Or not Tech Point 5, Tech 2, sorry. Uh, we'll buy this, we'll trade this for this, and it ended up being a, a net loss of three cents, although we could have saved it for later. I'll, you know, the Empress card, I'm keeping it just in case we have a good chance to use it in the future, which I doubt will happen, but it's possible. Um, with a full charge, we should reroll Dead Onion, and then we can go a little crazy on uh, Sharp Plug if we like. I think Aquarius is acceptable. Five bombs. Let's try to earn some black hearts, because if we get those, I'll be a little bit more open to using uh, a lover's card? Devil card. I'll be a little bit more open to using um, sharp plug on the uh, the devil room back here. This is looking like it's going to be a, a very, very easy win, though, so if you're the kind of person who hates seeing that, uh, I apologize. Sincerely, yeah, you know, I wish I could provide more drama here, but, you know, the... The seed is as the seed does. Why not take Guppy's tail? We got like all the Guppy items now at this point. Down to the next floor and more coffee enters the bloodstream. Can't help but notice that the more caffeinated I get, the better we seem to do. Just the kind of thing I need to enable my societally uh, approved addiction. Two of hearts. Doesn't do much for us, so we'll just pop it and get it out of the way. Um, this is our this is our depths floor, so it's our last shop. We probably won't have the money to make it work, but we might get lucky with a uh, contract from below. It would be nice to stack up HP where we can still, uh, you know, be relatively insulated from the fact that the enemies are going to hit us for double damage on the next floor. So we have a reroll ready for nothing at all. I really thought that the gravity kind of beam would keep it there, but so be it. Two chests, lots of red hearts, not even close. We got Empress. Empress, uh, that's not very good for us. Empress Emperor is the right handle for now. These Spirit Art drops are getting ridiculous. Thank you, Mom's Pearl. Uh, I can't even blow that guy up. Might as well use Box of Spiders once. It's not bad, necessarily. Yeah, Shielded Tears Triple Brimstone is pretty solid. Thank you for asking. Uh, I think we're just gonna go uh, finish this floor at this point. You know, we, we've got all the tools that we need to make it happen for sure. As you noticed, probably well right there. Let me pick up the Polaroid, and we've got to be like... <laughs> I, I mean, it sounds rich, but at this point we've got to be thinking like, there's not that many deal with the devil items left in the game. Joker and Yara Rune. Well, we don't have blank card. So we'll take... Oh, we, <sighs> we'll take the Joker. I'll use Pandora's box for like, yeah, the money, I guess. Could have sharp plugged and re-rolled it, but it's dangerous. So we just got rid of both Emperor and Empress. I do love the Emperor card, but... You know, the Joker card for one extra deal with the Devil. It's a classic. We gotta go with it. We now have one of the most absurd runs I've had in a long time. The fact that enemy tears and bullets are gonna be broken by, like, every single one of my shots is actually just hilarious. Uh, I'm thinking we, yeah, we do, like, a short loop here. And then we come up around, and the boss fight's probably right there. We'll go back for that, of course. I'll skip keys and bombs, but I'm not yet in a place in my run or my life where I'm going to be si skipping uh, spirit hearts and feeling good about it. We could open that, but uh, I don't think it'll be necessary. Looks like our short loop is turning out to be a little bit longer than I originally anticipated because we went in the wrong direction. This fly army though, man, it's so good. I'm so glad that I picked up hive mind. I mean, I always do, or I have a tendency to at least pick up hive mind. But I'm glad I had the money for it. Let's put it that way. We got two of these. And, uh, well, we got two keys back. You never know when that money's going to come in handy. So, you know, at least temporarily, we're going to enjoy keeping it here. More spirit hearts just from the relic. This is... If you could engineer a run to be as, like, frustration-inducingly overpowerful as possible, this would probably be it. What's your least favorite Northern Lion run? Uh, the one where he gets... Brimstone, all the guppy items on a single floor, hive mind, right, white pony. Hmm. We'll try it. Yeah, that was well worth it. And you know what? I think we'll sharp plug, see how much it hurts us. Oh, we it doesn't hurt us at all because we had a full charge. Then we picked up little Steven because we didn't know what it was. That's okay. That's It's going to happen from time to time. I forgot we got the compass as well. That's what guided us on that last floor. Let's check this out. 
three of these. Uh, sure. We got a spirit heart out of it. So I'm not going to sweat it too much. Uh, and what about that boss trap room over there? There's a, there's a dice room. I'm going to try to take advantage of said dice room. Because at this point... Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe we don't want the HP at this point because we have the Relic and Dark Bomb. Permanent Polaroid invincibility is probably not going to be that relevant, but if we can keep it, and it's, you know, why not? If we're going to be at full HP anyway. And two more of these end a Spirit Heart, and, you know, possibly another Spirit Heart getting paid out from Dark Bum very soon. Like, we're almost at full HP. So even though the boss is down in that direction, I am going to go up to this, uh, this dice room. Even if we reroll our run, we keep Guppy. We'll lose Hive Mind, which will suck pretty hard, but... Now we gotta start keeping some, uh, keys back in reserve, I think, because we're gonna be, uh, using the Arrow Rune fairly soon. That, for example, would not be a great opportunity, especially considering I'm gonna be doubling down on this one here. Dice Room. If it's a 5, I won't do it. It's a 2. Just re-rolls the consumable on the room. It's a lame, uh, Dice Room, to be honest with you. Not my favorite. Are you gonna pay out? Not quite yet. Um, I was looking forward to maybe... I don't know, a 4 could have been cool. Justice card is very necessary right now. That extra key, quite helpful. And we picked up maybe another Spirit Heart or a Spider that we murdered. Looks like our boss fight, though, is going to be down this way. I mean, this is why we wanted... Ah, oh, my mistake. This is why we wanted the Emperor card, but uh, so be it. The Yara Rune is going to be, you know... A great synergy getter for us. And if nothing else on this run, you know, there's a lot of reasons to dislike my performance on this run. I took a lot of dumb damage. I started the video on the second floor, but at the same time... Uh, I... Did use Sharp Plug effectively for maybe the first time in my Isaac career. This might or, um, mark the, uh, the start of a new era. The Sharp Plug era, where Northern Lion... Now, people yell at me for something a little bit more... Uh, minute in the game than my lack of knowledge about Sharp Plug, which... I mean, it's, it's mostly constructive feedback. I'm not trying to act like, oh, woe is me. People yell at me about how to play a video game, you know? It's more like, maybe I finally all that yelling has gotten through to me and I've, I've used it, if not optimally all the time. At least there were a few times over the course of this run where I was like, you know what? I actually use Sharp Plug and I feel good about it. Alright. We got our Joker card. This is our time to use it. And we got uh, a decent item in Gimpy, but I don't think it's that important. I'd rather re-roll it into... I mean, Headless Baby I don't think is necessarily going to be better, but... I wanted to have a chance at <clears throat> maybe something a little bit more stellar. Gimpy's probably better than Headless Baby. If you force me to choose, I'd rate them pretty closely, but... I think I'd probably give it to Gimpy. At least if you have a high HP base to be working from. No spirit hearts there. I am, like, completely non-concerned about how this run is going. We're not killing every enemy in one hit, but we're not too, too far away from it. And defensively, you know, Dark Bomb Relic basically makes us unkillable. Unless we take a lot of damage on one single room, which, again, Hive Mind pretty much renders impossible. Hive Mind Guppy, of course. Lover's card? It's two Lover's cards, man. Don't use Yera by accident, but two Lover's cards is not that bad. Friendly spider. Stay away from that for a second. Uh, yeah, so we basically broke even here. The Hierophant card for later, I suppose. Still only have four keys, man. We should have taken that blank card pick up earlier and gotten rid of the D6. Like, that's just actually absolutely true, though. Would have had a blank card, Yer yeah, Rune, Brimstone, Triple Shot, Guppy, Hive Mine. That might have had the chance if we got some keys out of it, which we could have with the blank card, but anyway. Um, that could have been the most powerful run we've ever had. As is, it's probably just, you know, top like 2% here. Although there's been a lot of runs where I killed Isaac before he could even do that, so. You know what? This is all down to that Tech 2 pickup that didn't actually work out that well for me, all things considered. If I'd known that Brimstone was coming so soon, I probably would have re-rolled it. Or just kept Tiny Planet, which is what it was before I re-rolled it. That all happened, sadly, off-camera as a result of the episode ending. Hey, smart guy, opened all the chests before freaking using the error rune. You want people to be mad at you for something, there's one. Uh, none of those are good enough, I think. 
Anti-grav brimstone is terrible, but kind of hilarious. Um, but I'm gonna re-roll it. Let's use the hero font for another like free re-roll. These are like I'll, I'll take Loki's horns because it's weird, um, but these are still kind of bad. Magic Mush, we don't have like Horror of Babylon or anything, so we might as well take Magic Mush. And I think that actually worked out for us, man. I'm starting to dig Sharp Plug quite a lot. I've got to admit. I'm, I know this is not a contentious position. I know it's a very well-loved item. I'm just saying, now that I'm finally like feeling like I'm using it effectively, I get it, man. It's good. The Soul is also good. Crystal Ball. Thanks for showing me where to go and giving me another Yara rune. I can actually make good use of that if we find some chest drops, which I'm hoping we do because I've fucked up the earlier Yara rune. I don't have any keys anyway, but still, it feels bad. You know, you want to be able to use the Yara rune effectively. It's the best rune, in my opinion. The coolest rune. Algiz might be the quote-unquote best rune. If you really just need to survive. This is over, though. This is a weird run. I... There's a lot of weird things about this run. Uh, I would like to use Sharp Plug again. Sure, why not? I'd like to apologize for like the fact that it was such a weird run. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It was very strange. I hope OBS worked nicely. I'll be recording a couple more with this today, and then I'll check in to see how it actually worked out. But that's another win for us, and just to show you that I didn't, you know, scum out of it and like say that I was still on a streak when I was like not on a streak. There you go. There's our ninth win streak. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Where's the hotkey? OBS, where's the hotkey?